So looking at the comment section on the uh, hog hunt um, crash uh, review video, there seems to be some confusion as to exactly where the um, uh, mag switch was um, located at or what position it was located at. And if you look at the, if you just review the film again, take a look, after they make ground impact and he goes to shut the aircraft down, you'll see that he flips the keychain up out of the way and pulls the mixture and he reaches over and disengages the clutch switch. Uh, then he turns the mag switch to the off position and then finally turns the master off. So if you want to take a look at the video, just review the video again, it's pretty obvious. You can t take a look there and convince yourself one way or the other of it. The more important thing I'd like to talk about on uh, the video is actually the how the uh, auto rotation terminated at the end and when I first watched the video and I saw him lower the collective he made the turn initially the horn came on when he made the turn that drives your rotor rpm up and his horn went off and I thought this is going to end pretty well um, unfortunately he never really flared the aircraft until the very very end a very small little flare and because of that he ended up touching down kind of on the back of the skid that caused a pitching moment forward and the aircraft dug in on the front of the skid so it only slid about 20 or 25 feet looks like and that caused the, the blades to uh, pop down and take out your tail boom had he actually pitched over much more the blades would have actually got into the ground and produced a significant uh, increase in the amount of damage to the aircraft so so when you make a full down auto rotation to sod uh, the grass the one of the most important things is you got to get the skids level so that when you touch down on the ground you're level skids if you do you'll slide right across the ground even if you hit even if your descent rate is is pretty significant and you actually hit hard enough to slightly bounce that's okay as long as the skids are level and the most important thing is getting the skids level if you don't the skids can can dig in on the front of the aircraft and nose over so I'm going to show you a couple videos uh, where people are doing auto rotations to a grass um, uh, field and the first is the MD 500 they're doing some auto rotation practice uh, police department and, and they're doing auto rotation they actually get the skids nice and level set the MD down and he's going about 35 knots or so so he slides a fair distance I don't know some 75 100 feet maybe even farther but the aircraft simply slides to a stop uh, the second video is going to be a Bell 206 uh, this guy actually flares significantly more aggressively, gets the airspeed reduced uh, way down when he actually touches down level skids. He's only going about five knots, and so he slides a very uh, short period, uh, or very short distance rather, across the ground. So let's take a look at those videos. In the next video, you're going to see um, a gentleman took off with an R44. He actually overpitched the blades and degraded his rotor RPM, and the aircraft ended up settling to the ground. And when he uh, impacted the ground, he did not have a skids level. Actually, touched on the tail first, and you'll see in the video you can actually see the tail flex. He hit hard enough that you can see the tail flex. That put it uh, caused a pitching moment forward. The aircraft dug in on the nose and went over far enough to get the blades into the ground. And as you'll see, there was a significant amount of damage uh, to the aircraft. <laughs> So the reason that uh, this gentleman lost uh, rotor uh, engine and rotor RPM um, is because he over pitched or pulled too much collective on takeoff. But nonetheless, had he leveled the skids and used what RPM he had left in the rotor to, to pull uh, pitch and soften his landing, he likely would have just slid across the grass and um, 
the outcome would have been significantly different. So remember, <clears throat> if you're departing and you have an, either an engine loss on takeoff, you basically do the equivalent, if your forward speed is 20 to 30 knots, do the equivalent of a hovering auto with forward motion. You actually level the skids up on the collective, the cushion, the sit down, and likely the aircraft will just slide across uh, if you're on, over an open field that's relatively flat or a pavement. The aircraft will uh, slide across the uh, ground and come to a stop with essentially no damage to the aircraft at all. Or at the end of the auto, again, you have got to get the skids level for the touchdown. If you touch on the back of the skids, you can get a pitching moment forward and produce significant damage uh, to the aircraft. So, so you guys stay safe out there. And, uh, thanks again.